another day at the show. Beautiful day. Every day it's Camper Toby. <laughs> okay. See you, Andrew. See, See you. you. Bye -bye. Have a nice show. Hello and welcome to the latest exciting instalment of Dussel Vlog. Now, when I booked my campsite, there were no places with electricity over the weekend and from today, Monday, I could take a pitch with electricity. When I went to check last night, they said, no, could you please move now? And then utter chaos ensued. Let's go back to last night and have a look at what happened. You can probably tell I'm in the car, I've got the caravan on the back and now um, I've come round as instructed and now they don't seem to have a place for me and I've just kind of been abandoned here. So don't believe everything you've heard about efficiency because sometimes the left hand really doesn't know what the right hand is doing. And been here for 15 minutes now, there's a motorhome stuck behind me and they got nowhere to put either of us, which kind of makes me wonder why we had to move tonight, not tomorrow morning, when there's probably going to be more space. Utter, utter chaos. I've been here for 30 minutes, kind of losing the will to live now. So I'm parked right in the middle between that row and that row, that's Camper Toby. So there I was, parked in the middle of Party Central, thankfully next to the wonderful Camper Toby, who saved the day along with the team from Alco. And then this morning we had to move again, but we had to wait until the pitch that we were coming to was vacated. This is great. It's called the Alcohol Mammut. <laughs> the Alcohol Mammut. <laughs> this is the... It's okay for you? Thank you. So. Perfect. Okay. Does anyone know how to operate the Alcohol Hamburg? Good. <laughs> okay guys, so we come and see you on the Alco stand. Bye. <laughs> All right. See you. Bye. Thank you. Here's the aeroplane. We've been hitched up now for about 20 minutes. We're supposed to be moving pitches again over there and uh, the people that were meant to move the camper van to let us pitch are still refusing to move their camper van. It's nine o'clock, everyone's going to the show except me. We'll just wait for the traffic guy to uh, tell us when we can move. We'll just, we'll just stand here then, shall we, Dougal? couple of subscribers today Richard and Beatrice and they booked a pitch with electricity and when they got here there were no electric pitches available as I said I was told to move and then when I did move there was nowhere to move me to so I think a future vlog is going to be the top 10 tips for coming to the Dusseldorf show so look out for that one so that got the day off to a pretty poor start and since then I edited a vlog and I've gone and used the Thetford toilet emptying machine on my own for the first Hello. time. How it works. Hey. Anyone would think I've watched a fantastic YouTube video about this and I know how to do it. There we go, all squeaky clean. <laughs> hey, this is the future. And now it's time really to get back over the show and see what there is today. So I brought you to the Canals Tabot Hall and the first thing I notice is that it's a really nice open stand. It's very inviting, very light, very bright. 
hot news this year is the all new Canals Deseo Transport. This started out life as a motorcycle transporter with a little bit of furniture and now Canals have completely redeveloped it to become a fully fledged caravan with the capacity to carry a motorcycle. And what's interesting here is the drop down bed. So in this small cabin, you have a four berth caravan. Under the drop down bed during the day is a dinette and in the evening a bed. Kitchen is very much improved on before. And in the kitchen you've got a little recess for a coffee maker or in my case the kettle. But this is where the real improvements happened. The washroom, which now has a full shower facility. Hello. And this is at the front of the caravan unusually. Anyone in the UK remember Stealth? Here at the back you can see the whole back lifts up and then what's brilliant is you can attach this awning and have that as a separate living area. Some stalls have come out of the caravan so here is it from the back and this is where you would load in a motorcycle obviously the bed you would put up to the roof first. It's fantastic. So this is the layout in the daytime. So you can see the sofa. Oh, that's very good. Look at boy. Hi. Dougal's making friends again. <laughs> and then you can see here the ramps that you pull out for loading two motorcycles or of course a mobility scooter. And if you're worried about it being a bit dark, you'll see that when you close the back, you have a nice large window in the lounge. After my earlier vlog about the Fiat Ducato 4x4, I've had a few people asking me for some more details about it. So I've had a quick chat with Giorgio at Fiat and this is what I found out. So end of this year, beginning of next, we'll see it in the UK. You see here, most probably it will be also sold uh, end of the year in the UK yeah. market. So you say this particular van is just, um, a, it's not on sale? No, it's a special repair car. 2.3 diesel, 130 diesel, exactly. horsepower. The yeah. actual Euro 6B exhaust emission directive. Right, so Euro 6B, yeah. Exactly. And one last question, the 4x4 drive, is that full-time or is it, can you change? You, it's a um, permanent 4x4, mm -hmm. so you can uh, lock the gearbox if you're really in the deep mute, so yeah. yeah. So it's a permanent, per permanent, four, four permanent four wheel drive yeah. and can it go into low ratio? or diffi yes, difficult course. situations. Yes, exactly. And then the base vehicle will come with regular tires, exactly. not with these exactly. off-road tires. Off tires. Yeah, this is just a special. So the street, so. No, no, but this is, uh, and I'll just show people the cab. Again, I guess these are special seats. For the... So here's the cab. So it's a standard Decato cab. For today's daily dose of vintage, how about a folding camper for a change? A 1961 Detlefs. And this has, well, a weight of 410 kilos. 
<laughs> it's just so cute. It's really, really lovely. I'm in hall number 14, which I often call the Hall of Dreams. I'm surrounded by a million euro motorhomes, but there are none quite as special as this one. The Volkner Mobile Performance. Gerd is going to demonstrate how the garage works. So you drive the car onto the platform. Something's whirring. Oh my word. Oh my word. Thank you. So now we have a look inside. It smells beautiful. You can smell the, oh my word. Utterly beautiful. <gasps> my word. I'm <laughs> absolutely blown away. This is lovely. So do you sell all around Europe or do you and sell the around, around the world? So I guess you have customers in America, do you? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> it's just beautiful. Oh my word. And then obviously the bathroom. How is this for a shower? So do we have two shower rooms? Oh, that's the, obviously yes, the toilet. And then, of course, the bedroom. Which, as you can see, is in a slide out. It's beautiful. And here we have the children bed. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the separate air condition, separate heating system. Wow. And of course, then of course they're um, they can be quiet away from yes. everybody. <laughs> and here we have a bread sliding machine. Bread slicing machine. Slicing machine. Oh, that's fine. For your fresh bread in the morning. Yes. Gosh. And a dishwasher. So, how many years have you been producing? Um, dishwasher. My uh, Mr. Faulkner, mm -hmm. that's his, he is um, self-made since 40 years. 40 years? Yes. Wow. And he do something on wheels since he is 14 years old. That is lovely. And of course, beautiful German engineering. Yes. Of course, naturally. And you have here an induction cooker and a normal oven from a house and you can operate it out of the batteries. So that comes from an inverter, from yes, the batteries? Yes, it's not necessary to, to start the generator Goodness. or to be on an electric socket. It takes his um, energy out of the batteries yes. and you can operate everything together. Goodness, so you and have that, a lot of batteries, yes. I imagine. And there the TV screen is coming out. Wow, goodness, that's lovely. <laughs> 
camera. The bird eye view camera, yes. And my goodness, so how does that work? The, oh, I see, that's on the side for the garage. Yes. And this you is. You can have a look around the car. You can see all and around. And here it is our brain pilot system. Our motorhome is the only motorhome in the world. It's smart. Smart motorhome. Yes, yeah. it um, start the heating system of its own, and you can choose temperatures to different hours during a day. Yeah. Each room separate, and the brain do it wow. on its own. Goodness. And how's this for fantastic colours? A dark blue motorhome, and then a gorgeous little yellow Fiat. And then Mrs. Volker, do, can you make the garage personal to a car? So... <coughs> of the model, of the, of the performance model, we yes, can. Yeah. Um, the performance compact mm -hmm. uh, model is fixed for a Mini Cooper or smaller Right, cars. okay. Yes. That is us done for another day. I hope you enjoyed another day with us at the Dusseldorf show. If you did, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already, and it just leaves me to say from me and from Dougal. Smile, Dougal. Smile? No. Thanks for tuning in. Oh dear, bit of a wait on for the bus back to the campsite.